Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and we are going to have fun with the Large Die Kit of the Month for Spellbinders. We're going to be making a shaped card. This set is called the Honeybee Jar, and that's the shape that we are going to be creating. Now, the two dies that you see there on the left, the two slots, those, those right there, yeah, I lost my audio, so that's why my hands, I'm catching up to my hands there. That is the kit that you will be receiving. The die off to the right, that is a Honey Dipper die, and that is a free bonus that is included in the Deluxe Caboodle Value Club membership. So remember, there's lots of bundles that are available. So a lot of dies in this set, and a lot of the dies have embossed um, areas into the dies as well, like the top of the jar. But as I said, we're going to make this a shaped card. So lots of die cutting going on. As always, took care of the die cutting off camera. And now we're just going to put all of our pieces together. Um, some, most of the pieces I did, or I should say some, some of the pieces I'm doing double layers just to make them a little stronger like the honey spoon, which I think that's what that's called. Um, just to give that some strength, because that is going to sit up off the card. So don't want to make that too uh, flimsy. We're adding the layering pieces to this, and then we will add the honey drips from that. And I did double up on those as well, mainly because of the drips coming off of that spoon. And then we'll add this off of the corner. I just think that is absolutely adorable. The sentiment is basically the tag that's going to be hanging off of our pot, and it simply says, Hi, B. So, I thought that was cute. Yeah. The B is absolutely adorable, so I die cut the entire B twice, again, to give it that stability. And then your accent pieces that layer on top is what's going to form the B. Um, so you just want to make sure. Now, again, there, there's areas that are embossed into this cardstock. So you'll know what pieces go where um, on the B to um, create its shape. And now we're going to add the next line and then the final two. And then we'll finally add the little stinger to the back. For the wings, I die cut one layer from a pale blue cardstock, and then I die cut another layer from vellum. This is going to soften um, that blue even more. And what's great with the vellum is I'm able to curl that up um, to add even more dimension. Now, this shaped card, um, <clears throat> I would probably put it in an, in an envelope that's for a 5x7 card um, because the, the spoon hangs off and you've got all of this dimension that will pull from it. Next thing, we have this vine for flowers. And again, it's very detailed, very intricate. Um, so I just doubled up on that as well. The base has the whole flower. So this is, again, a layering. So I chose a gold mirror cardstock to cut them out and then purple and peach for the tops for the colors of the uh, flower bells and 
and then we're going to get those set up onto this vine. just going to layer these two on top of each other and just making sure I rotate it so that I'm not putting it down the same way. We're going to layer the center. Again, I used the base in a gold mirror cardstock and then I used a brown for the top of that. And then this is another layering die in the set. I'm just going to layer those up. And then all I have left are the leaves and the um, twine that goes on top. So what I did for the main part of the honey jar, I die cut two. And I'm going to bring in my scoreboard, place this in, and then I'm going to find the base of the neck of the jar and I'm going to score right at that point and just get that bending and we're just going to do it to one this one will go to the back add our glue to the top and then add our second piece that we die cut on top of that so it's very similar if you've been here before and see me do double tags it's kind of the same setup I'm now placing my pieces inside so great scrap buster and that blue piece is from a um, ink smushed background that I had created. So using that up, I thought that was perfect. Going to place our layering piece for the honey right on the inside. And I die cut the fabric on top of the jar two times from a heavyweight white and then one time from a pattern paper from my stash. And that will sit on the top of our jar. And lots of detail in that fabric piece. It's absolutely amazing. We're going to add some glue to the back of our twine. This is very dainty, um, but just love the way that it sits. That's mine would not look that good if I tied it that way. Yeah, just saying. Just looking at placement and now we're going to get the flowers. They're going to go along where the honey sits. And then we're going to fill in with the leaves that I die cut from two different greens um, behind our single flower here. And even though I die cut them from two different greens, I really only used one of the greens primarily. That's the only other color that I pull in uh, for the green leaves around the flowers. I really liked how the darker leaves against the honey color that I chose really stand out. And they kind of sort of blend right in. We have the vine there. Now we're just looking at the placement of the bee. Going to set our tag in place. And we're going to add some double-sided foam squares to the bee. And we're going to put him down in the flowers.
we're going to set the top bow of our twine which will hold that tag and then we're going to lace in our honey spoon and I'm going to add some double-sided foam squares just to the base of it and then I'll add some glue to the top once I have that set in place. And there we go. That is our shaped card. Now this does stand. Um, I'm hoping I had to edit a bunch out the audio. Yeah, that's, you know, 2024. Yeah. <laughs> audio issues. Um, but it does stand, um, on its own. But again, because of the, that spoon sticking up, I would put this in an envelope for a five by seven card. Um, it will fit perfectly in there. The products that I used will be listed down below. So that's all of the clubs if you wanted to check them out along with their bundles. And remember, this is the large die club kit of the month for January for Spellbinders. Um, I'm also going to leave a link to their gallery so that you can be inspired by others. There are some amazing pieces uh, using this set. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up, and make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next video is ready for you to watch so that you can craft along with me. Enjoy the process. Have fun creating your art. You are creating art. No stress, no frustration, and if there is, walk away. <laughs> Come back to it at another time. But most of all, remember, always be creative. And I'll talk to you in the next one, guys. Till then.